multicultural at its best. The Louisa Marshall Show. Coming up. Today, all new Sing for the Best starts at two-part series, Kindness Rock. We'll take you inside Sir Wilson Churchill Secondary School on its Big Shirt Day anti-bullying campaign. Kindness Rocks is a concert in schools to make an awareness to prevent bullying and other forms of abuse. More than 3,000 students celebrate kindness as they sing, dance, and clap together to the beat of the great performances. Get inspired. Kindness Rocks founders, Rock Toe, and my friends, Jonas and Jeanette Fall. Plus more highlights. And the reason I bullied somebody is I wasn't happy with myself. But it's also important for, for the kids to know how far reaching our words and actions. Kindness Rocks starts right now. Brock Tully is an internationally known speaker and author of nine books about his heartwarming insights and thoughts to touch and inspire people to do the best they can to be kind to others every day. He was the first person to cycle around North America for 10,000 miles in 1970 and continued to ride his bike in year 2000 and 2009. His internationally publicized Cycling for Kindness tour was launched to prevent bullying at school, harassment in the workplace, domestic violence, and other forms of abuse. Kindness has always been Brock Tully's passion as he touches people, save lives, with Kindness Foundation of Canada. He is the founder and creative director of the World Kindness Concert and an active participant and co-founder of Kindness Rocks in Schools to prevent bullying and abuse. He is also the founder and producer of One of a Kind Stories. What a heartwarming moment for me to finally meet Brock at Sir Winston Churchill Secondary School after a very successful Kindness Rocks concert.
You know, it's interesting because we're having a lot of fun, but we've got a very serious topic today. And for me, I did. I was very close to taking my life. Everybody thought I was this happy-go-lucky guy, and, and um, I was kind of the life of the party, and, but very out of touch with my heart. Over the years, I'd lost touch with my heart. I came from a wonderful family, but we never um, talked about feelings. We could never hug, and we could never look into each other's eyes and say, I love you. And I needed it, that as a young guy growing up. And so I, I held a lot of my feelings inside, and I jumped on my bicycle, and I just rode and rode and rode. And it was a journey back to my heart. In school, I never did any writing. I've now got nine books, and um, it's just really... And two days ago, by the way, was my birthday, 67 years young. So, so why, why do you think people bully, Bob? Uh, you know, it's an interesting thing with bullying. You know, I, I really believe that we didn't come to this planet as bullies or not bullies. I think we came here as all beautiful people that wanted to be kind. And what happened is when we lose touch with our heart, and if you could really, really focus on this one thing that I'm going to say, because the person next to you might be going through what I was going through. A lot of people are going through tough times. So really focus on this. That um, when, we, when we lose touch with our heart like that, and we feel so alone, the reason somebody, I was a bully and I've been bullied, and the reason I bullied somebody is I wasn't happy with myself. So what I do is I look for other people to pick on. And when I pick on them, it builds me up, but it's very temporary and it doesn't feel good. And so what, what happens is we um, start bullying people that are, a quality in ourselves that we've lost touch with. So we start bullying really sensitive people, really creative, like uh, Mark was saying today, and really, um, um, you're, you know, unique people, very special people, and people that might appear different. And it's just so sad that we do that. So the really thing I really want you to focus on today, that if you've ever been bullied or abused or somebody's been mean to you, just really remember that it's not about you. It's the bully will pick on anybody when they bully that just happens to be around. It's a beautiful day here. It is fantastic. Winston Churchill, we just had the greatest kindness rock show. The kids were just unbelievably so totally excited and so into it and oh, their hearts were right there. Yeah, I saw a lot of them coming out beaming and smiling. Yeah. Yeah, I think they really enjoy the show. Yeah, one teacher said, you know, we've had a lot of things over the years, but this was just the greatest. They've never seen the students so engaged in something. Yeah. That is something that we have to do, actually, to make our students, to make all our children be engaged in what we're doing against bullying. You have been a big, big, or probably the biggest advocate for against bullying. What is your inspiration? Well, you know, it's originally way back in 1970, and I was very suicidal and really out of touch with my heart. And what I did was I jumped on my bicycle before people were cross-country biking. And I went all over North America with packs all over my back. And it was a journey back to my heart. And I think the inspiration was being out there alone with myself. I could listen to that one voice in my heart, you know, instead of all these voices in our head that teach fear. So from then, I started organizing things like a small part of the Kindness Rock Show. Jeanette and Jonas are really the, 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 the meat, meat behind it, really. I'm vegetarian, but they're still there. <laughs> um, and uh, they are just amazing. And I did the World Kindness Concert and, and three bicycle trips around North America for the last two for a kinder world. So I've been really, my heart's really there. But, you know, it's, it's just like t today. The, the kids, you know... When, with, with bullying and everything, we feel so alone. And, and most everybody, if you ask everybody individually, they'd say, I've been bullied. And 
but they feel so alone. So our message really was that the bully has lost touch with their heart and they'll pick on somebody that um, is very creative or unique or really special, trying to build themselves up by bullying them, but it, it just doesn't work. You know, we're in this together and we need to be kind. We have talked about a lot of uh, different forms of bullying. And cyberbullying is the number one thing right now. Wow. So uh, what can you say about this? It is. It's very scary, you know, because when I was in school, if somebody, somebody was bullied, maybe it was three or four or five people involved. But now it can be the whole school or whatever. And as we all know with Amanda Todd and Carol, her mom is, and I become good friends. And, and she was here today at the show. And, and uh, it's, it's just really scary, you know, like technology is such a beautiful thing to bring us together as people, but it can also be very damaging and, and uh, scary. What can be done about it? To me, what can be done is by having things like this Kindness Rock show to, to really focus not on the bullying but on the solution which is being kind and that we feel good and, and the more we feel good then we don't want to hurt other people so I think we, don't, we need to focus less on the bullying we need to focus on prevention that's true prevention yeah. so what if kindness stops what do we do well, you know, my belief system is that kindness will never stop. I think we all came here as being kind and that when we lose touch with our heart, we're not so kind. So I think the secret is to keep us in touch with our hearts. Now, here would be an example. When I was out in the bicycle going around North America, 99.9999% um, of people would pull out and go around me and not want to run me off the road. And so inherently, I think we're kind, you know, because... They, they, they'll never see me again. But every once in a while, somebody will run me off the road, and that's what we focus on. And so my message as I bicycled around the country is that the news is the news because it's rare. And we had to do something rare, which is bicycling, to show what um, we believe is common, which is kindness. So I don't think there's going to be an end of kindness. I think we just need to focus more on the good news stories and stuff. That's true. So kindness never stops, but we can stop the bullying, right? Yeah, that's right. We can, we can stop it by prevention, by focusing on acts of kindness and feeling good. Like everybody will remember an act of kindness from 20, 30 years ago. Simple little things. That's how powerful it is. That's true. Kindness is really powerful. Kindness rocks. Kindness rocks. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know that regardless of what happens in high school or junior high or whatever, Life gets so much better once you get out into the world and you choose what you want to do and you go towards your passion and you completely disregard what everybody else thinks you should do because ultimately you guys know what you want. And the coolest thing about living in Canada where we're free and we're allowed to do whatever we want is that we can go out there and go after what it is we think we need and what it is we think is going to fulfill us. I moved here from Iran like when I was younger, way back. Just make sure you don't allow nobody to crush your dreams or break what you are inside. More kindness rocks with Bob after this. Don't go away. I did the World Kindness concert for 12 years, and that was really nice here in Vancouver. And, um, but what we want to do right now, our big challenge is funding. Coast Capital has been really, really great to us, and now we, we need to get funding and so that we can do more shows. Like, this was just unbelievable today. I mean, if you could see the kids' eyes, it was unbelievable. Their hearts were really touched, and you, you don't know how many lives we've saved. You know, I was very suicidal, so that's when you said, ask what my inspiration was. I just about took my life. And so when I look at these kids' eyes, and I know that many of them are very depressed and out of touch with their heart, and this, this, a show like this saves lives because the band was saying about how they had been bullied or were bullies. They were saying how they were depressed. Or, so the, you know, the challenge has been the funding for, for um, the Kindness Rock show. And you know, it should be in every school all over the place. And that's our goal. And, and it, it's not even that costly of a show. And, um, that's where we really want to um, focus a little bit is to, so we can get out there more. Now, let's yes. talk about Look, your book now. Here. Okay. This is my book. Uh-huh. 
And it's, this is my newest one. I've got nine books. It's called The Great Gift for Someone Special. And it's all a book of little thoughts, inspirational thoughts that I wrote. And in the middle is a story about following our heart. So I'll give you a couple of little thoughts, okay? Here's the ones that are on the cover. The present moment is a gift to me. My gift is to be present every moment. Another one is, I'd rather be seen for who I am and be alone than be accepted for someone I'm not and be lonely. Another one is, I'll never find out what I can do unless I do all I can to find out. And the last one on the cover is, I always love to see you, but I don't have to see you to always love you. So that's the kind of things that I write, little thoughts from the heart. And These are all over the world, and in my uh, little reflection books are in other languages. And to get, you know, emails or letters from around the world is, I can't tell you how good it feels. And one woman wrote to me, and her favorite grandmother passed on, and her grandmother's last request was to be buried with one of my books. So when you get things like that, it's just, you know you're on the right path. And when you ask what was the inspiration, well, my inspiration is people. You know, it's people, and I see a lot of pain in a lot of people, and I just really want to um, show them that hope and also that they have a beautiful heart because people don't believe that. We're brought up in a world where we put other people down to build ourselves up all the time, whether it's through marks or money, trophies, whatever it is. We're constantly doing that. And we need to start thinking more, what's best for the higher, higher good of all? And still be competitive, still have the money and the trophies and enjoy those things. One of my th thoughts is, I do enjoy things, but joy comes from loving the things I do. So we've got to get back to that joy of life. That's amazing. You're amazing, Brock. Oh, Thank you're you the so best. much. You're such a good interviewer. Oh, I want to be like you someday. Oh. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to be no, like really. <laughs> I want to be like you. Oh, thanks so much. So Thank thanks you so much and good doing. luck. Good luck to Kindness Rocks. Rock with Brock.
amazing day. Brock's simple recipe of kindness and compassion to prevent bullying is an empowering message and a reminder to all that we can always change, be able to turn our lives around, and be happy by being in charge of our own journey. More kindness rocks next week with my good friends and fellow tribute artists, Jonas and Jeanette Paul. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, always be kind. Let's stop bullies. Um, see you next Monday. Let me see you when it's up. Get up here. Get the picture. I want you guys to go tag yourselves. You know? yeah. People don't realize how much their words and their actions can either be really positive or really negative towards other people. So hopefully this makes a difference, you know, we're just doing what we do because we want to try and help.